Welcome to Eternal Manna, the daily devotional of Grace Gospel Church. We begin a new a week of meditations, and we are continuing our look at Psalm 9, a Psalm of David. And today we want to look at verses 12 to 14. And verse 12 begins with the words, reading from the Living Bible, He who avenges murder. Now that's a reference to God avenging murder. God is the great avenger. God sees and God will act. God is not going to let murder go unpunished. In fact, uh, in Numbers uh, 35, we read where God says, the blood of unavenged murders pollutes the earth. And uh, we also read in the Bible that the blood of Abel cried out to God. And Naboth, his blood also uh, shed innocently, was seen by God. And God in his time acted and he uh, uh, brought about justice. So it's a reminder today that uh, when we see uh, murder go unpunished, we could get discouraged. But God is the avenger. He will see and he will act. Now, if that is true, the psalmist says, God has an open ear to those who cry to him for justice. God's ears are always open to our prayers. And one of the things that we all struggle with is justice. Uh, we look for justice at the workplace. We uh, look for justice, sadly, sometimes even in the church. We uh, look for justice nationally. We look for justice internationally. And uh, the psalmist is reminding us that God has an open ear, but we have to cry to him. And we have to cry to him for justice. The psalmist goes on to say in verse 12, he does not ignore the prayers of men in trouble when they call to him for help. Again, what an encouragement. Whatever your trouble is today, you're invited to look to the Lord and to call to him for help, and our God will come through for us. The psalmist says in verse 13, And now, O Lord, have mercy upon me. That's an oft-repeated prayer in the book of Psalms and also in the Bible. The, the plea for mercy. And we uh, pray that God will extend his mercy to us day by day. That every morning his uh, mercies will come to us fresh and new. The psalmist says, see how I suffer at the hands of those who hate me. The psalmist was going through intense suffering. There were people who were hating him and making life very miserable for him. And he is inviting God into his situation uh, to look upon his sufferings and to be merciful to him. He continues his prayer, Lord, snatch me back from the jaws of death. Uh, this hatred went to the point where it uh, seemed that the psalmist could even get killed. He was literally staring death in the face. And he's asking the Lord to snatch him from the jaws of death. So this is an incentive for us today, whatever your trouble, whatever challenge you are facing, to call upon the Lord and uh, to ask the Lord to deliver us. Verse 14, the psalmist says, save me. Again, very brief prayers, direct prayers, what I would call arrow prayers, save me. I'm in a predicament. Lord, save me. And sometimes that's all what it takes, just to pray a prayer. Save me. Help me. Deliver me. Come through for me. Uh, intervene for me. And, uh, and, and the Lord will hear and the Lord will respond. And the psalmist gives us uh, two reasons as to uh, why uh, the Lord should uh, respond to him and answer him. Verse 14 so that I can praise you publicly before all the people at Jerusalem's gates, so that he could praise God. 
not just privately, but publicly, uh, that he would be a witness uh, to his own people of how God had delivered him and to sing and shout the praises of God. And the second reason he gives as to why God should deliver him, verse 14, and rejoice that you have rescued me, that he wanted to rejoice uh, he wanted to experience supernatural joy. He was going through a time of conflict. Emotionally, he was drained. He was depleted. He was sad. Uh, he was in grief. And now he's saying, Lord, when you come through for me, on the one hand, I'm going to praise you publicly. I'm not going to be ashamed. I'm not going to be silent. I'm going to praise you publicly before all the people. But internally, I'm going to experience the fullness of your joy. So this is a beautiful segment for you and for me today. God knows what you are going through, all your hardship, all your trouble, all your pain, all your suffering. Call upon him. Call upon him. And the Lord's ears are open to your cry. And the Lord will respond so that you and I can praise him publicly and rejoice in him. Have a good and godly day. God bless you. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.